that NS News Update. Good Friday afternoon, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. Here's what's making news at this hour. The Atlantis Paradise Island Resort was one of the first resorts in the country to lay out an online gaming platform, shifting the paradigm from on-the-floor casino gambling to convenience. Guests are now able to place their bets from the sidelines of the pool, in a restaurant, or from the comfort of their rooms. More than a year later, and with the recent passing of the gaming bill, Resort Senior Vice President Ed Fields believes that it was the right move as guests are enjoying the new experience. In a matter of days, illegal migrants in the Bahamas could be part of a potential mass deportation drive as the Immigration Department is on target for its new immigration policy. Migrants in this country without passports and residency stamps will be deported November 1st. But the Minister of Immigration, Fred Mitchell, says there should be no alarm. Meanwhile, police in Andros investigating the drowning of a Bahamian diver during an expedition in Andros yesterday. The 20-year veteran, we understand, apparently became unconscious and despite assistance from an American visiting team, he was pronounced dead Thursday afternoon. And members of the Baptist community were treated to a reception at Government House last night, hosted by Deputy to the Governor General Oswald Ingram. The month of October is observed as Baptist Recognition Month, and each church nominated three members to receive honors at a banquet that will be held this evening. Baptist Convention President Reverend Dr. William Thompson is very pleased with the support given. Details of those stories and more coming up later during First at 6 and the Bahamas Tonight. Keep it right here. I'm Alta Bees Thanks so much for watching.